Hey guys, welcome to Product Focus Friday and a layout for Confessions of a Paper Attic Cut Files. I am on the design team and I'm excited to use one of the new cut files, Busy Background 2. I have taken our Jen Hadfield The Avenue, this uh, paper, I don't remember what this one's called. Um, and I've cut it out on my silhouette with Busy Background 2. I wanted a fun pattern to put in the background and I'm playing with 30 Days of Sketches again today. So we're using Day 18 Sketch, oh, what a beautiful sketch perfect for a busy background. I've cut out uh, also from my silhouette just a four inch roughly uh, hexagon and since the sketch calls for two hexagons I will use these as a template to cut my photo out into hexagon and we'll mat them. So we're using Jen Hatfield and then today's mixed media is Stickle, Stickles Glitter Gel. So I have I have um, this moon dust one and I have a gold. I think we'll do gold. So I think there's other gold things. Yeah, there's other gold things in. So I think actually we're gonna use uh, Supernova. So we're gonna use some of that. I'm not quite sure where. I have an idea of where I want it, but I'm not quite sure where for sure I want it. So we're gonna use some Stickles Glitter Gel, use this Busy Background 2 for our Busy Background and do the sketch. So let me get all the other papers ready and we'll get going. Okay. So what I've done so far is I think I'm just gonna back it on white cardstock. That way my patterns aren't too crazy busy. Um, I've punched using this uh, We Are Memory Keepers punch, the hexagon. I've done two um, of this green. I did one of these, I'm not sure for sure if I'll use all three. And also what I did, so I took this scrap I had of a pattern that had words on it, and I literally just covered it in my stickles so that I have this glittery gold um, pattern, essentially. And then we're gonna, we're gonna punch hexagons out of that. It's really loud when I do it, so I'm not gonna do it on camera for you guys. Um, so I did that. I grabbed a few branding strips because the sketch has like those chevron arrows and has a banner. So we'll find something for that. I haven't, sh I'm not sure what to do with my title. I think um, the gold titles that come with this collection, none of them are big enough to, for what I want. Happy day. We'll see if that stands out. I don't know. Um, I backed my hexagon photos in the back of a paper because I don't I don't need that many cut aparts in my six by eight pad and then a paler pink pattern so it stands out a little bit so those will be right here so I'm gonna go ahead glue my background down um, punch hexagons out of there trim these down, figure out where I want to put them, and then kind of get some other embellishments out and figure out what else we're going to do. And just decide on a title. Not sure what I want to do for a title. I might look through all my phrased thickers and see if there's anything that stands out that I really like. Um, otherwise, I'm not really sure what to do. So I'll be back. All right. So this is what we've done. I glued this stuff down. I cut these ends into a banner. I trimmed off all the extra white um, on these butterflies. I didn't really like the extra white. And so now I'm just gluing this down. I found this hello. Trimmed the extra white off of that as well. I like it better without it. I didn't really know what to do for a title, honestly. It's just a picture of my sister throwing a football. <laughs> um... Not a big deal. Oh yeah, I want to put this, I want to tuck this in between. So I trimmed this branding strip down. And I'll put this butterfly right here. Got some generic pop dots. I think they're from, um, Oh, who are they from? Park Lane. So that, um, is that Joann's? Yeah, Joann's brand. They work. I have some scrapbook, I have some scrapbook.com ones too. So yeah, uh, that is where we're at. And then I think we're going to add some black or some black, some gold splatters. But I really like the way these nouveau, um, or the stickles, I should say. The stickles turned out on these. It's just a fun way to add a little pizzazz. I enjoy it. 
added this love. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But this background, you guys, this background, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah, I was going to add, there's one sticker butterfly that's black, too. I was going to add her right there. So I've got kind of like four little areas. I like the way this turned out. This turned out pretty cute. I'll probably just write the date. Maybe right, tuck it right here or something. Um, not for sure, for sure, but I'll tuck it somewhere. And if we want to ever do journaling on this, we'll put it on the back. But it's kind of just a fun layout. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I've got some Dino Wakely uh, gloss spray in gilt. It's kind of a different gold, but it works. I'm going to make sure it's nice and shaken up. So I can splatter it and it's like ugh, welded shut because I don't use it enough. Watch me make a giant mess. Hopefully not. Just add some. Oh, I just splattered some in my eye. <laughs> I think a tiny bit's getting on my photos, but not too bad. There we go. Add a little bit of gold splatters. I think we're good. So thank you very much, you guys, for watching. Make sure you go to the Confessions of a Paper Attic Cut Files Facebook group for the freebie this month before it is gone. And then stay tuned for more awesome cut files next month. Go to the shop if you want to shop for this cut file or the thousands of others that um, Virginia has. They're all amazing. And make sure you check out everybody else who's playing with 30 Days of Sketches down below. We'll see you next time.